by Mike Bone, July 7, 2019, 3.15 p.m. The UFC's annual International Fight Week showcase went down Saturday with UFC 239, which took place at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas with a main card that aired on pay-per-view following prelims on ESPN and ESPN, UFC Fight Pass. Two of the sport's most dominant champions held on to their titles at the top of the card. John Jones, 25-1 MMA, 19-1 UFC, defended his light heavyweight title against Thiago Santos, 21-7 MMA, 13-6 UFC, by split decision in the main event while Amanda Nunes, 18-4 MMA, 11-1 UFC, knocked out Holly Holm, 12-5 MMA, 5-5 UFC, in the first round to hang on to her women's bantamweight title. The title holders sport some of the most impressive resumes in the game, but there's was many others who bolstered their resumes on the card, as well. For more, check below for 60 post-event facts to come out of UFC 239. Asterisk 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 General The UFC promotional guidelines compliance payout for the event totaled $283,500. Nunes, Jorge Masvidal, Jan Blachowicz and Song Yadong earned $50,000 UFC 239 Fight Night bonuses. Debuting fighters went 9-3 on the card. UFC 239 drew an announced attendance of 18,358 for a live gate of $6,063,707.11. Betting favorites went 1-2-1 on the card. Betting favorites improved to 9-12 in UFC headliners this year. Total fight time for the 12 bout card was 2 hours 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Main card Jones' 13 victories in UFC championship fights are tied with Georges St. Pierre for most in company history. Jones' 17 fight UFC unbeaten streak is the longest in company history. Jones' 17 fight UFC unbeaten streak in light heavyweight competition is the longest active streak in the division and longest in the history of the weight class. It's also the longest UFC unbeaten streak among active fighters. Jones' 19 victories in UFC light heavyweight competition are the most in divisional history. Jones' total fight time of 5 hours 15 minutes and 15 seconds in UFC light heavyweight competition is most in divisional history. Santos felt a 3-2-1 since he moved up to the light heavyweight division in September. Santos suffered his first decision loss since July 5, 2014 a span of 1,827 days, more than 5 years, and 16 fights. Nunes' four consecutive UFC title defenses are most among current champions. Nunes' six victories in UFC title fights are tied with Ronda Rousey and Joanna Jadrzejczyk for most in company history. Nunes has defeated six fighters who once held an undisputed UFC belt, tied with Jones for the most of any active fighter in the organization. Nunes' 11 victories in UFC competition are tied with Jessica Andrade for most for any female in company history. Nunes' 10 victories in UFC women's bantamweight competition are the most in divisional history. Nunes' 9-fight UFC winning streak in women's competition is the longest in company history. Nunes' 8-fight UFC winning streak in women's bantamweight competition is the longest active streak in the division. Nunes has earned 16 of her 18 career victories by stoppage. That includes 9 of her 11 UFC wins. Nunes' 8 stoppage victories in UFC women's bantamweight competition are most in divisional history. Nunes' 7 first-round finishes in UFC, Strike Force women's bantamweight competition are second most in combined divisional history behind Rousey, 7. Nunes' 6 knockout victories in UFC women's bantamweight competition are the most in divisional history. Nunes' 3 knockdowns landed in UFC women's bantamweight competition are the most in divisional history. Nunes' four fight night bonuses for UFC women's bantamweight fights are second most in divisional history behind Rousey, 7. 
Holmes' four consecutive losses in UFC title fights are tied with Uriah Faber for most in company history. Holm fell to 225 in her past seven UFC appearances dating back to November 2015. Holm suffered the first knockout loss of her career. Mass Vital 34-13 MMA, 11-6 UFC, improved to 6-4 since he returned to the welterweight division as July 2015. Mass Vital's five-second knockout victory set a new record for fastest in UFC history. Mass Vital has earned all five of his UFC welterweight stoppage victories by knockout. Ben Askren, 19-1 MMA, 1-1 UFC, had his 19-fight winning streak snapped for the first defeat of his career. Luke Rockhold, 16-5 MMA, 6-4 UFC, suffered consecutive losses for the first time in his career. He hands had earned a victory since September 2017. Rockhold was unsuccessful in his UFC light heavyweight debut. Rockhold has suffered all five of his career losses by knockout. Michael Chiesa, 16-4 MMA, 9-4 UFC, improved to 2-0 since he moved up to the welterweight division in December 2018. Chiesa has completed at least one takedown against 12 of his 13 UFC opponents. Diego Sanchez, 29-12 MMA, 18-12 UFC, fell to 2-2 since he returned to the UFC welterweight division in November 2017. He's 11-6 at the weight under the UFC banner. Sanchez has suffered 8 of his 12 career losses by decision. Sanchez has fought to a decision 20 times in UFC competition, the most in company history. Sanchez has absorbed 1,285 total head strikes in his UFC career, the second most in company history behind BJ. Penn, 1,358. Preliminary card Arnold Allens, 15-1 MMA, 6-0 UFC, 6-fight UFC winning streak in featherweight competition is the second longest active streak in the division behind Max Holloway, 12. Allen became the fourth featherweight in UFC history to open his career with six straight wins. Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor and Yair Rodriguez also accomplished the feat. Allen has earned four of his six UFC victories by decision. Gilbert Melendez, 22-8 MMA, 1-6 UFC, suffered his five consecutive loss to extend the longest skid of his career. He's 1-5 in his past six bouts overall and hasn't earned a victory since October 2013. Melendez fell to 0-2 since he dropped to the UFC featherweight division in September 2017. He hasn't a victory in the weight class since August 2005. Melendez has suffered seven of his eight career losses by decision. That includes both of his UFC featherweight defeats. Marlon Veras, the first of May 14 MMA, 8-4 UFC, 4-fight UFC winning streak in bantamweight competition is tied for the second longest active streak in the division behind Petr Yan, 5. Farah has earned 7 of his 8 UFC victories by stoppage. Farah's 6 stoppage victories in UFC bantamweight competition are tied for second most in divisional history behind TJ. Dillashaw, 8. Nohilin Hernandez, 10-3 MMA, 0-1 UFC, has suffered both of his career stoppage losses by submission. Claudia Gadeas, 17-4 MMA, 6-4 UFC, 6 victories in UFC strawweight competition are tied for third most in divisional history behind Joanna Jedra's H-9 and Jessica Andrade, 7. Gadea has earned 5 of her 6 UFC victories by decision. Ronda Marcos, 9-7-1 MMA, 5-6-1 UFC, felt the 2-3-1 in her past 6 UFC appearance dating back to August 2017. Marcos has suffered 6 of her 7 career losses by decision. Yadong, 13-3 MMA, 4-0 UFC, has earned 3 of his 4 UFC victories by stoppage. He's finished all those wins by knockout.
Alejandro Perez, the 1st of August 21 MMA 731 UFC, suffered consecutive losses for the first time in his career. He hasn't earned a victory since April 2018. Perez suffered his first knockout loss since May 28, 2011 a span of 2,961 days, more than 8 years, and 15 fights. Edmund Shabazian 10-0 MMA 3-0 UFC has earned 9 of his 10 career victories by stoppage. Shabazian earned the first submission victory of his career. Jack Marshman, 23-9 MMA, 3-4 UFC, fell to 2-4 in his past six fights dating back to February 2017. For complete coverage of UFC 239, check out the UFC results. UFC research analyst and live statistics producer Michael Carroll contributed to this story. Follow him on Twitter at MeekFlippedAscript. Alejandro Perez, Amanda Nunes, Arnold Allen, Ben Askarin, Breaking, Claudia Gadea, Diego Sanchez, Edmund Shabazian, Gilbert Melendez, Holly Holm, Jack Marshman, Jan Blokovic, John Jones, Jorge Masvidal, Luke Rockhold, Marlon Vera, Michael Chiesa, Nohalyn Hernandez, Ronda Marcos, Song Yadong, Thiago Santos, UFC 239 News, UFC Let's Block Ads. Why?